Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome to another weekly vlog for kind of like, I don't even know what to say, vlogmas maybe? Because I'm going to be vlogging for the rest of December. But I thought I would do a quick little update because I didn't talk about what I did like on Sunday and stuff like that. So on Saturday morning after I came back from work I started watching The Witcher which I was really excited about. Sadly I didn't finish like reading the actual series. I am still on like Lady of the Lake as you can see I haven't picked it back up but yeah I started that series. It only has eight episodes and then I ended up finishing it after I came back home from work on Sunday so it was great. I think I gave it 10 out of 10 on IMBD but I think I would give it a 9 just because I'm still like not on board with all the casting choices that they made just because some of the characters don't feel like the characters that I met in the books and the game so that's just that but purely on the plot like 10 out of 10 I was never bored it was so good. Yaskir or Dandelion if you've read the books you know him as Dandelion in English. Yaskir oh my god I love him. At first I was like he doesn't look like the guy looked in the game but it's going off the books but his voice his like phrases like what he says so funny I've seen loads of people especially my mom because my mom finished what started and finished watching it before me like she was saying like how Yaski and Gerald have like a Shrek and donkey relationship and I couldn't agree more it was so funny and I really like the actress that played Yennefer like really a lot but I don't like Triss I don't like her as a character but I I don't like the casting choice for Triss, I don't know why, it just bugs me and some other characters that I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I thought it was so good, like the fighting scenes, Geralt with the monsters, Geralt with that girl, like at the beginning of the series, oh my god, and I think it stayed true to the books a lot because some of the stories like... I just remember like when I was watching it, remembering when I was reading it, it was so good. So I really, really enjoyed it and I'm so glad I watched it and I can't wait for season two, which my mom said comes out 2021, did she say? So we have to wait like two years, but I think it will be worth it because it means they're gonna do it like high production value. So yeah, that's another show I've watched. I've been watching a lot of shows recently just because I haven't been reading. But in terms of reading, I didn't read anything yesterday or the day before that. But today I started listening to a new audiobook. So before I was listening to To Hate Adam Connor, which is a reread, I am going to finish that off. But I felt like listening to a fantasy book. So I started listening to The Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, I think, which is a popular book on booktube. First I wasn't going to pick it up because I just heard mixed reviews and it didn't sound like something I would like. But since watching a lot of K-dramas recently and like loving reading about romance and watching about romance I thought I'd give it a go and I've only listened to like a chapter and a half and I really enjoy it. I like how the settings described in it. It makes me really like feel like I can see it because it's like describing everything that the characters can see. So yeah I kind of cut my fringe just a minute ago and it kind of looks like it's not straight. Oh, and tomorrow's Christmas Eve, which is when I celebrate Christmas. So that's exciting. But yeah, this is going to be more of a chill vlog, I feel like. So enjoy <laughs> a chill vlog this week. So guys, it's Christmas Eve. It's crazy in our kitchen. My parents are making the actual food. I'm baking some sweet potato brownies and I added some orange like extract and they taste delicious. I tried the raw dough and it's just, it tastes like Jaffa cakes. I also finally bought these from Holland and Barrett today. They're Mallow Puffs Vanilla Bean ma Mallows dunked in Belgian dark chocolate. They are vegan and they taste like vegan even my mum was like that's so good so I highly recommend it to Polish friends who are vegan and are looking for a replacement for Ptasia Mleczko because I definitely miss it at times so yeah I really like how my makeup is looking just wished everyone on snapchat Facebook and Instagram a Merry Christmas and yeah I can't wait for food because all I've had so far is just 
a little bit of these and some of that dough and I'm really hungry for some Christmas food. So yeah, I can't wait. I feel like this lighting makes me look worse than I actually look or maybe I actually look this bad but yeah I'm really exhausted today it's like 10 I've been listening to on repeat today I want you by Shanique because I finally listened to the story of light epilogue album like fully yesterday and I'm obsessed so many good songs on that album but yesterday night I also started reading on my kindle pucked I think it's called the book and I finished off today just like a couple minutes ago it's a really good romance I really enjoyed it. It wasn't like perfect and like the conflict kind of annoyed me a little bit because it could have been avoided like had Violet like given Alex a chance to talk and like she shouldn't have just avoided him like girl you know you love him so why are you avoiding him? But I really enjoyed it. I love how they like I just loved how Alex was towards Violet at the beginning but yeah I really love reading about hockey players because hockey is like my favorite favorite sport to read about in romance I don't know why and it was just really nice and interesting and I really loved it. it made me laugh out loud a couple times like really good book so I'm glad I read it I realized that we have five days left of the year I really wanted to finish to hate Adam Connor and then read marriage for one but I don't know if I'm gonna get to marriage for one so maybe I'll try and make that book my first read of 2020 but I really want to finish finished Hate Adam Connor. I'm not sure if I told you guys but I also started with Wicked Fox and I'm really enjoying that. I haven't listened to more of any of my audiobooks at the moment because I've been really enjoying watching My Ideas Gangnam Beauty. Such a good show. I didn't realise how many like lessons it teaches you. I love both the like main romantic interest and then Woo Young. I only remember Woo Young because he has the same name as a member of 80s but I really am enjoying it. This is the first K-drama where I can't stand one of the characters. Every time she makes an appearance or she says something or she just 
does something, I want to punch her in the face so bad. And I don't think that's ever happened before. I don't know if I told you guys. I can't remember what I've actually updated you on this week. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go to bed because when I started Pucked last night, I started it like around 10 or le no 11 because I was like, I'll just read for an hour and then I ended up reading till like nearly 4 a.m. So I need sleep. I'm really glad I still read it because that means three books read this month. Guys, it's so hard to find like a seat in my room because my room's such a mess. So I think next week we are gonna do a little bit of a cleanup, get rid of some stuff, put away some stuff, do some rearranging so we're like ready and fresh for the new year. Even though like in 2020 I'm not gonna be really big on New Year's resolutions, I don't have any actually. Like yearly goals, I decided to split my goals into like I think three sections so it's gonna be every four months I work on some new goals because I want to see how that works out but yeah it's Sunday and I had a really productive day I ended up finishing reading on my kindle I started it off as an audiobook but I decided to read on my kindle because I really have been loving reading on my kindle every winter because it's really nice I don't need like good lighting to read it because it has a light built in but that is To Hate Adam Connor by Ella Mace and I loved it. Lucy is as hilarious as I remembered. Like she made me laugh out loud so many times. Adam is a sweetheart. Aiden who is Adam's son is adorable and I just loved seeing Jason and Olive and I just love the story and it's so good and I really enjoyed it. So of course it's going to be a five out of five stars and then I also ended up finishing watching My ID is Gangnam Beauty which I really enjoyed. I decided to give it an eight out of 10 because Sua who is kind of like the villain oh I don't know if I can say that but I knew it from the start that she was the bitch basically because she's just an awful person like I could not stand her and sometimes she just annoyed me so much I was like so frustrated but the main love interest why can't I remember his name I remember Min Rae so she is like the girl that got plastic surgery on her face and then Sua is the, the bitch basically and then oh why can't I remember his name but every time he smiled like later on in the k-drama it was so cute it made my heart melt because he looks like he has like a cold exterior but then when he smiles it's just like so adorable so I really enjoyed it I love Min Rae's best friend she's adorable Wu Young really liked him as well I really liked like the themes in this k-drama like it was really interesting like oh the guys pissed me off like always talking about women's looks constantly like <sighs> It was so annoying. And then the girls like stood up for themselves. Like I really loved it. It was kind of like a feminist K-drama a little bit. And I really enjoyed that. And then I loved Min Rae's like outfits. Like she had the best t-shirts with the best clothes sometimes. And the character development of Min Rae. Also like the love interest was so good. So really enjoyed it. I'm not going to be starting any new K-dramas. Because I'm just going to get sucked in and then not do anything. So I'm going to take a little break. If think till the new year and then maybe probably try and watch two more K dramas like if they're like 16 episodes before going back to uni maybe it will happen I don't know but I think that's it the only other book that I want to finish is the audiobook I started this week so The Wicked Fox by Kat Cho I think so I'm gonna try and finish that off before Wednesday so before the new year and then that's the only main thing that I have for this year's to do but you'll see that next week so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog not a lot happened I know but it was just a chill vlog <laughs> but I still hope you guys enjoyed so I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>